Shalom. This is Quay. We are into our study of the book of Revelation. Today we will be looking at the very last couple of verses in chapter 8, and then we will be going into chapter 9. And uh, I just want to uh, remind that, uh, you know, the, uh, the intention and the, the scope of this particular study is, is not meant to be exhaustive in any way. It's not overly scholarly. Uh, I appreciate uh, scholars and I do study them, but um, uh, the intention is also not to be dogmatic on certain positions of timing, etc. Uh, it's, it's really to uh, hopefully inspire a, a sense of deeper hunger for the word, a desire to, to, to dig in, especially to this particular book, to see how it is related to all the other books in the Bible, to listen um, uh, prophetically in the, in the sense of inspiring our hearts to run hard after the Lord, to uh, hopefully alleviate uh, ungodly fears about what what this book uh, is about and to deepen our relationship with the Lord. So having said that, uh, we do remember that we are promised a blessing in the first chapter of this book, that when we hear it, when we read it, when we study it, when we obey it, there's a special blessing that comes along with it. So may that begin to flow even as we look into our verses today. Praise the Lord. So um, the things that we are looking at are, are not particularly pleasant. Um, that's kind of putting it mildly. A little bit later in uh, Revelation, in chapter 10, we will be seeing that John is instructed to, to eat a scroll, which was a a euphemism for you know uh, understanding what uh, what what is being said, taking the word in, and he found it sweet uh, in his mouth, but bitter in his stomach, because uh, and and that's the way some things in this book are very very sweet uh, with the absolute presence of the Lord, the the lordship, his oversight in all of this. And, and his presence and the promises to the believers. But it is, there's also a bitter uh, bitterness to it because it's talking about really uh, serious upheaval things, ha up upheavals uh, occurring on the earth that have to happen and are under a righteous God's timing, leadership and righteous justice and, and judgment and even his mercy but it's not always easy. So uh, we are beginning our uh, look today at chapter, excuse me, verse 13 of chapter eight. And we've actually already uh, studied four of the seven angels who bring forth trumpet judgments. And so the fourth trumpet uh, has passed and here we are now. And John writes, uh, he says, Then I looked, and I heard an eagle crying out with a loud voice as it flew high in the sky, saying, Woe, woe, woe to those who dwell on the earth, because of the remaining blasts of the trumpets, the three angels are about to sound. Now, uh, we're not told explicitly, is this simply a natural eagle? Uh, I, I doubt that it is simply a natural eagle, although that's a possibility. Uh, it has a loud voice and it does seem it's speaking words, but then the Lord spoke through a donkey. So, you know, we don't need to discount that. These are some of the things that, um, they're negotiables. The, the uh, thing that we want to 
uh, you know, take to heart is that once again, here comes a warning from the Lord. The eagle often represents a uh, prophetic. This could be a particular type of angel that is simply uh, looks somewhat like an eagle, uh, but it's definitely uh, a, a prophetic uh, voice and warning sent from heaven. He said he, it was high up in the sky. It wasn't down real low uh, towards the earth, but it was high up there. But it had a very particular message. In the Hebrew, uh, the word for woe is oi, oi, oi. And I do not believe that this message was pronounced with um, any kind of venom or, or pleasure uh, from the heart of God. He takes no pleasure in the destruction of the wicked. And that even includes uh, the angelic realm, the fallen angelic realm. It, he, he takes no pleasure but it is, he doesn't shy away from the necessity of it. And so there's three woes, there's three uh, trumpets left. And so this is telling us that now things are, are going to go to an even uh, greater degree of intensity than what we have previously seen. And so, uh,